It's incredibly hot in here. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I got this long wear makeup look. I'm only going to be showing you the basics, the basics coat. Today I'm only going to be basically showing you how I get my makeup to last basically all day long and what I use to make my face pop it and intact all day long. <laughs> If you want to see how I got this look, well not this look, but like how I keep my makeup long wearing, <laughs> how I keep my makeup long lasting, then just keep on watching this video. So we all know how Sephora gives a gift during your birthday month with like your purchases. My sister actually bought, got me this as a part of my birthday gift. She has the same birthday month as me so I guess that's why she got it and she gave me this which is this Claudale Paris Moisturizing and Serum. Literally these two sample size things here. You can't really see them. Oh this is a moisturizing sorbet or sorbet how you say it. And this is a serum, but I'm going to just start with these two items to prep my face. The reason I like starting with these two items is because when I'm done putting it on, it has a really like tacky feel. So I just feel like, you know, my makeup would stay on a lot better and it would just stick to my face. So now I'm going to prime with my usual primer which is the LA Girl Pro Prep. I'm going to put that all over. This feels really similar to the Smashbox one, which is like really silicone-y, but it's just like a lot cheaper. Well, it's like $10 cheaper from like the small size of the Smashbox primer. Basically, the ingredients for this are all in the Smashbox one, but the Smashbox also have a few other ingredients with it as well. But this is still pretty good. I'm like really trying to study up more on my makeup so I'm able to like give better views and like tell you guys what's good with the goods you feel me <laughs> so now I'm gonna put on my foundation I have been using this Kat Von D Lock It foundation and it's like so so good it doesn't budge it doesn't transfer or anything I think Jackie Aina or someone said this oxidizes but like since I've been using it, I haven't seen any oxidization on myself, or maybe I just haven't noticed it, because I don't want to say she's wrong, because clearly she's OG, you know? But for me personally, I haven't seen any oxidization, so yeah. And my shade is Deep Neutral, by the way. Deep 78 Neutral. If the number means anything, probably does. So I just like pump some on my forehead and my cheeks my chin and my upper lip as much as i like putting my foundation on with a beauty blender i find that i prefer to pref i prefer to prefer i prefer to apply this foundation with a brush and then tap it into my skin with the beauty blender after it just distributes more evenly and quickly because like once this dries it really doesn't go anywhere now i'm just gonna pat it into my skin and make it a little bit less oily looking by the way my beauty blender isn't clean today because right now we don't have any water i feel like every time i try to film a video recently it has been something like last time i tried to film there wasn't any warm water and i mean that wasn't much of a excuse but i was feeling really lazy and i used it as one so literally i'm just using like bottled water to wet this and like wash my hands and stuff but usually i do wash my beauty blender before every single time that i do my makeup so after i do this i got my super strong base going i really just do my regular method i use my la girl pro concealer and i just feel like once i have this foundation on the rest of my makeup just like blends into it and stays well but also when i do a long wear look or any look really these days i try to keep my makeup higher 
than I would usually now because you know I guess once it like starts to settle it might move down a little bit I don't know but I feel like that happens so what I've been doing is just like applying it a little bit higher just in case it does start to like move down you know gravity okay I don't know <laughs> I'm like really really happy that I decided to go up a color in my concealer because it honestly makes all the difference and it just really highlights my face a lot better and just like makes everything just look super higher and super duper more snatched. Now I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer, I mean Pro Coverage Foundation, and I'm just going to contour my face. And I'm going to use my Morphe E47 brush to contour, and I just got this brush like right before New Year's, and I am in love with this brush for contouring like my entire face, especially my nose, because I wanted a really like pointed brush, really like slim, so it's perfect for contouring my nose. Another really important part besides your super strength lock on foundation that is to set um, everything in that concealer and make sure everything just stays where it is for as long as possible. So I'm going to use my Ben Nye Luxury Powder and I'm going to set all the places that I put the concealer. And I'm going to apply some to my um, frown lines just to like try to prevent creasing. Another thing that you can also do to prevent creasing for your frown lines is put a little bit of eyeshadow primer. I learned that from my best friend who got that from Jackie Aina and honestly that works wonders. And then I'm just going to highlight underneath my contour and I'm going to set that too. Before I start contouring my cheeks, well setting the contour for my cheeks, I always like to apply a little bit more of the powder underneath my eye and right here because I just have a lot of pores in this area and the powder just seeps in it really quick so I just like to put a little extra. I'm going to use my Kiss Professionals eyeshadow in the color Bow Ruben. I need a contour palette but um, I'm not really sure what I want to get. I know BH Cosmetics literally released a um, new contour palette today but it just didn't seem like the shades are dark enough and also it's like a 10 a 10 color concept palette and it's just like i'm not a makeup artist or anything so i just feel like i don't need all of that so to dust off the powder i'm going to use my black radiance pressed powder it says it's an oil free formula with a matte finish so this will be great for people with oily skin or if you have like combo skin like me i like literally just dust it like that and then dust off the powder and also blend out the lines any harsh lines and i use the color rich mahogany which i think is probably like the darkest or second darkest shade that i saw anyway i had this um this pressed powder before and i really did like it but then it broke like literally shattered i didn't even drop it or anything i don't know what happened to it and yeah like everyone says this is a lot of powder but the powder is just what like locks it in and sets it and also makes the finish look so flawless. Like honestly your makeup will not look will not look any better than it does when you use like a bunch of powder just to like set it. Obviously not like too much, but you know what I mean. Especially in like pictures and stuff. It's just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna use this e.l.f. stipple brush and I'm just gonna use circular motions to blend down my contour a little bit more on the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna press that all in with the wet beauty blender again. And you can already see the difference on how settled everything looks and how like 
like bare skin bare fresh skin this all looks gorgeous right <gasps> gorgeous but anyway i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then i'll come back and show you the finishing step to keeping your makeup intact for a long period of time okay i'll be right back you lay down the steps on the weekend oh, Making lose your mind every weekend You take away, say Thursday Then just send him my way Think I got it covered for the weekend You know He got this summer You're so different from the best I can you know. Okay, so I'm back. My heater is on now. You might be able to hear it. I don't know. But whatever. I'm not going to stay over there. So I did my eye makeup. I did my eyebrows. My eyebrows, I'm not doing this video because I have an eyebrow tutorial. I use this pencil and you can see that it's like mad tiny. It's super small because I use it a whole lot. And it's um NYX suede matte lip liner and it's like their long lasting formula. I'm sure if you get like a more expensive lip liner, the longer it will last. But this does a pretty good job. And I feel like a long lasting lip liner is more important than a long lasting well it's not more important, but today I'm not wearing a long lasting lipstick. If I was going for a long lasting lipstick that I personally would prefer, I would go for ColourPop because that stuff pretty much doesn't budge. But yeah, for a long lasting lip liner, this one is really good and it's only $2. So, you know, you know, gotta get them deals. So if you're going for that full, long lasting makeup look, you know, that's a really good cheap lip pencil that you can use. I'm gonna finish up with my regular routine and I'm just gonna see through that. So for blush, I'm gonna use my usual, my BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals palette and I'm gonna use this shade, which is my favorite one, honestly, out of the entire palette. And this lasts so long and I use it so much. And another thing I learned from Nikki tutorial, she's been teaching me so much since I started watching her channel. So like if you aren't subscribed to her, you should definitely be because she's a very, really good very really good <laughs> youtuber youtube makeup guru she's and she's very cute as well so like you know not that her channel needs promo for mine or anything but that's where i'm getting a lot of the newer things i'm learning from so you know and yeah i do wear a lot of blush which is like super sweetheart looks oh my and now i'm gonna use this morphe r31 brush that i'm gonna apply my highlighter and I'm sorry that this is dirty I hate that it's white so it looks really grimy because of all the other makeup I use and then like dirty makeup hands but anyway I'm gonna use my ColourPop I like your face highlighter palette and I'm going to be using the shade which is my favorite one and it's kind of just like a go-to I'm gonna pick that up and put it on the top of my cheekbones and my temple it's just such a pretty highlighter and this brush has a lot to do with it because I was using an e.l.f. brush for my highlight and it just wasn't really working with this palette but like since I've been using this brush instead it's just like so pretty so much more prettier and more pigmented whenever each brush gets damaged I'm just gonna like replace it with a Murphy brush now because I'm just like so obsessed and I think it's about time like I upgrade anyway and along with that I do plan on like doing a lot of like product review videos and stuff in the upcoming months for this year so if you want to like stick around for that you should most definitely like and subscribe to this video so today I'm going to be using my Nick AK True Matte um, liquid lipstick because Sorry, I look so wild because it's literally been like my favorite recently and it's like all I've been using. So I'm going to go with that. It's not a long lasting one. It's just like cheap hair store liquid lipstick, but it does the job. And if you're not eating or anything, it stays on. It doesn't like move. And it looks so pretty with this lip liner, but I feel like this lip liner will look good with anything. But still, it's still my favorite combo right now. I'm seeing what I want to recognize. 
the most important ending factor of this look just to lock everything in i'm going to set my face one last time with my Urban decay all nighter setting spray this is like the best setting spray in the world right now i mean i don't know but like that i can afford <laughs> in the world right now so i'm just going to set my face with this and that's it and we're gonna dry it obviously super quick if you like this video uh, let me just like put my arm down so you guys don't see when i go around with you all right because like mm, oh, it's never cute look that is it for my long wear look this look honestly will last you probably all day all day long without budging you probably obviously have to reapply your lipstick because this is not a long wear lipstick but if you wear a long wear lipstick, you won't have any problems with this makeup for the entire day. You won't have to touch it up or anything. Unless you have a super no oily nose like mine, but I never touch my nose anyway. So there's that. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! She see money all around me. Look like I'm the man. Uh, good against middle ass nigga with a sick ass mouth and a slick ass flow. Uh, catch up with your brand.